Hi, it's August 14, 2019, and I'm aboard my 1972 Allied Princess 36 Sequester. And what I'm out here to do today is repair the radar cable, which has been giving me some trouble for the last little while. And uh, basically, I have to replace the RJ45 connector on the end of the cable. Okay, here's the uh, suspect radar cable power connections there and this is the connector that I need to replace. The problem with it is that there's a little plastic clip that used to be right here that broke off and what I need to do is put a new connector on that still has that clip so that the cable will stay in the fitting that it plugs into and not basically become loose or fall out. Here's a new connector ready to go on there's the plastic clip that broke off the old one. And in case I goof this one up, I have 99 more. And here's the crimping tool I bought to do the job. So, the next step is to examine this connector and find out the exact order that the wires are in so that I can slide them into the new connector in the correct order so that the connector will work properly. So let's do that. Okay, the first step in putting the new connector on is to record the sequence of colors for the wires. There are eight wires all together. They are an orange wire, an orange-white wire, a green wire, a green-white, a blue wire, a blue-white, and a brown-white, and a brown. So I just have to get those in the correct order. And uh, so I'll write them down now. Uh, by looking at the connector. It's a little hard to make out the colors because this is pretty small stuff and I'm looking through somewhat old and faded plastic. But uh, after a little looking, it uh, is fairly clear what the sequence is. Okay, now I'm uh, ready to cut the old connector off. And to do that, I'm just going to use a paring knife I borrowed from the galley and just uh, cut through it. It's pretty straightforward. And let's get to it. You just have to saw through it a little bit with this knife. And there we go. The old connector is off. The next step is to cut the insulation back on the uh, wire from the point I cut it off. And what I'm going to try to do is cut it back the same amount that the insulation was cut back on the uh, original clip. So to cut that wire back, I'm just going to slit it with my uh, paring knife until I get back to the right point and then I'm just gonna cut the rest of the insulation off with the paring knife and as you can see it's just about right so we're ready to get the wires organized into the correct order. Getting the wires in the correct order is uh, absolutely critical because if they're not in the right order then the radar system won't work because it won't be getting the data it expects on the channel it expects. So this is fairly fussy to make sure that they're in the correct order, that the wires are straight, and will hopefully slide into the new connector easily. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to double check it against the uh, old plug a couple of times just to make sure that I got it right. And also, uh, these are tiny wires. They're only about a 32nd of an inch in diameter and makes them a little hard to uh, hold. And my fingers aren't quite as uh, sensitive for this small work as they used to be. So it takes me a little time, but eventually I get it done. Now that I've got the wires in the correct order, the next step is to slide them into the new clip. And I'm just checking to make sure I understand how they go in here. And try and slide them in. They don't want to go at first. So I'll just uh, fiddle around with it a little bit. And fairly soon uh, they'll start to slide in, I think. There they go. I think I got them now. And uh, should uh, slide in. There are little notches that each of the eight wires have to go into, and it's a little tricky to get them 
just right. So uh, I want to make sure I did it right, check that they look good, and there it is, pushed on. So the final step is to take out the crimping tool and crimp the wires on. Now the plug fits into a dedicated notch in the crimping tool. As you see here, it just slides in. And let me get it in there. There we go. And then once that's in, just squeeze the tool and it will click when it's done. And the crimp is done. Now I give it another squeeze just to make sure. And push that out and I am done. This uh, plug looks pretty good. I don't see any wires that are in the wrong order. Give it a little tug there and it seems to be on there properly. So we're ready to go and plug it in. All right, I've got the radar cable connected, which is just a matter of plugging it in and hooking the power back up, which is two connectors. And now we're going to see if this repair worked. I'm going to power up the chart plotter and we'll let it go through its startup procedure and find out if my radar is going to work or not. So this is the suspenseful moment to see if my five minute repair has solved the problem that's been plaguing me for a couple of years off and on. I thought at first it was just corrosion on the connector. Whoa, it started up without any questions, so we'll let it go. It should load a chart in a second. See if it does. And, oh, it found the radar. And there's the chart. There's. My mooring marked and the boat is right there. That's good because that's where the boat is. So let's go to the menu and turn radar overlay on. And I'm gonna have to turn the radar on too. So I'm gonna go to the radar page and go to its menu. Go here and tell it to transmit. Now this is a Lowrance uh, BR24 broadband solid state radar. And one of the advantages of this, as you'll see in a second, is that it comes on immediately. So here we go, let's transmit. One and, oh, less than two seconds before we have radar. So now let's uh, go back to the chart page. And we should have radar overlay on the chart. So. Replacing that connector has fixed a problem that's been plaguing me for a couple of years. Initially, I thought it was just corrosion on the contacts of the connector, and I cleaned that up, and uh, it seemed to work fine. But then the little plastic clip I showed you broke off, and the cable wouldn't stay in the connector anymore, and kept getting loose. Every time it loosened up, it caused the chart plotter to reset, and at first we had absolutely no idea why it was doing that. I thought I was going to have to buy a new chart plotter, which I didn't want to do, because my radar is fairly old, and it really is only compatible with the older Lowrance chart plotters. I can hook it up to a newer Simrad, but I would have to buy an interface, which would add another couple hundred dollars to the price. And I didn't want to do that if I had a functional radar and a functional chart plotter which I now apparently have. Lowrance broadband radar connected to a Lowrance HDS5M chart plotter. So I'm happy about this repair and I'm glad I didn't have to uh, resort to calling the local electronics guy and have him come out to the boat, do the repair and then go back. I would have had to pay probably for at least an hour of his time, maybe more and it would have cost me a lot more than what I paid for the crimping tool and connectors. You're down here, here's the crimping tool. Here, here's the crimping tool and the connectors. Those cost me approximately $15 on Amazon. I think it was $15.75 or something like that. And it took two days to get them. And if I have another problem with my connector, I have 99 spares so I can simply redo this connection and as you saw it didn't take very long because that was real time 
I didn't uh, shut the camera off at all while I was filming that. So that's all the time it takes to do one of these uh, connections up and have radar again. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll get an indication of when my next exciting boating video comes up.